I'm taking a bath, man. Go away. Go away. <laughs> there you go. I, I'm. It's better time now. It's it's good time. It's okay. I know. I know the toy. I'm supposed to be sitting on the toy, not the other way around. And we made a perfect hat, though. Look at it. Look at it. It fits perfectly. I'm a king of the pool. Anyway, so uh, what's up, people? I'm Zog, and welcome back to Mod Sauce. Now I've done some work, as you see here. I I made it better. It's good now. Don't worry. It's not ugly anymore. It looks pretty. It's all nice and, ooh, uh, well, nope, still wrong way. There we go. Found it. Leaves. Yep, more leaves. Yep. Why? Because this thing maxes out at 3,100. I was going to add trees and stuff, but then I figured it's nature -y, right? So I have a lot of grass and I have a lot of leaves, and that is enough. Unless the difference in, you know, maybe if I plant flowers. Let's see if we can try this on camera real quick. Let's see if we can, uh, we have, oh, uh, we have flowers. Flower, woo flowers sure 2k flowers i don't know if these work let's try regular old vanilla flowers uh what are dandelions maybe i have a couple should be enough to test at least uh let's see if these do anything because i don't think they will oh it does work the different types work holy crap so i maxed it out on leaves so i can do more i can do more uh let's see yeah do 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 we're gonna make it look so pretty <laughs> it's the witchery area i don't know it's not supposed to look like pretty or anything it's just supposed to be you know it's it's a whole lot of gardening apparently 3140 it seems is that max okay let's see if it gets even more specific since that seems to have stopped increasing it what about dandelions? A different type of flower. Oh, it did what does work. Holy crap. How many different types of things will work for this? I don't know. That's something we got to figure out. But now I have 3180 in this thing. I'm sure that's plop more than likely enough power for anything we're going to do. But that looks pretty cool, though. I like that. Even though they're all brown, I might change those to like blue or something to match with the walls. But they do kind of match the wood now anyway. So it doesn't really matter. Anyway. So, yeah, you see that I, I made that better. I said I was going to. That was something I definitely, definitely wanted to get done. Uh, I also did something else. <laughs> oh, lots and lots of digging. I dug a lot of stuff. So much. So, so much. Now, this place is huge. Why? Because what did I tell you I was going to do in this episode? A reactor. Yep. Let's put my helmet back on. I also made a sleeping bag. Why? Because it's amazing. I'm sleeping in the air, guys. Yeah, I've been doing some measurements. Measurements are handy. Why are measurements handy? Because I found the maximum size of a reactor. Basically, what happened is I came up here and I started digging. Lots and lots of digging. Go away, man. And uh, then I was like, wait. Is there a maximum size? Because I remember reading somewhere that, uh, you know... It wasn't like a technical document on big reactors or anything, but somebody was like, you could pretty much go to any size you want. And I kind of just assumed that that was a true statement, not, you know, even paying attention to the kind of part of that. So then I thought about it a little more. Sometimes people say that when you can make something that is just pointlessly big, like you make it so big that it doesn't matter. Like with, with, uh, you know, this size here, the maximum size you can probably power Everything an entire so we could power everything that's on Hermitcraft with one big reactor. I'm sure of that because this thing is enormous. The one we have down in uh, the place thing down in the uh, what do I call it? Mob drop. Yeah, mob drop. This right here. This isn't even maxed, and this thing is pumping out fifty-five thousand flux. Holy crap! And it's not even maxed. Like, we're still on, like, 50% on most every, all, all of those rods. Like, there's no point. Um, now, my only issue with this really, really big one is that I may not have enough Eulorium. This thing is still using it, but it's using it pre you know, pretty, pretty slow. So, what we're also going to probably have to do is actually go ahead and hook up a cyanite reprocessing situation. Which is fine. That's not a big deal. Uh, it's, it's really not that hard to do. But we'll, we'll come to that when we get there. Let's go ahead, actually... 
Thank you, the Mining Crafter, for telling me to do this uh, wireless thingy. Um, what am I looking for? I'm looking for Yellowite. There we go. We have 11,000 Yellowite, and yes, I am worried that it isn't enough. I am not even kidding. This thing is going to be massive. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, the basic idea is that I came around. I, I did. I did the maths. Um, if if you've seen any of my other videos, I say all the time, I'm not good at math. That's why I used a calculator. So, um, let me get my little thing here. Uh, uh, numbers. Okay. So, what do we need? We need to go to the reactor. I don't think actually what we're going to do is we're actually going to make patterns for all these if they aren't already patterns and that way we can actually get the specific number that we want and we can kind of tell if I'm accurate you know if 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 my maths are correct and we can see how incompetent I am at math and it'll be funny if I'm wrong but uh, we're going to find out anyway um, so we need a bunch of reactor casings let's go to our pattern thingy pattern pattern yes you and then you bam make the pattern perfect and then we need we don't need to make the pattern for the reactor controller or reactor control rod one of these days I'm gonna make an ME system that is just enormous and huge and I'm gonna have a pattern for everything that's probably going to be in the next mod pack we play that uh, you know has the AE system in it which a lot of them do but uh, that's going to be a thing. It's going to be awesome. We might also delve into the big reactors turbines, which is something I haven't done ever. Uh, but those things won't be in this series because, as I mentioned, it is coming to an end. It's slowly, slowly. There's a few other things I want to do first, including the super builder's wand, which if you don't know, builders. There we go. This guy right here. It doesn't have a recipe in, in the NEI. Why is that? Because it's a it's a ritual, just like the original one is. Well, sort of, sort of is. Uh, if you go to the builder's one, let's see. Can I like? Nope, I can't do that. I have to delete it all. That's dumb. That's so dumb. Builders. If we go to the builder's wand, right here, you see this, right? Unstable ingot. Well, what you do in order to get these is that you need the division sigil. Ooh. And you need to activate one of these. But there is a version of this ritual that gives you the ability to get one of these that has no limited uses meaning you can use it forever and instead of getting unstable ingots you get stable unstable ingots which is you know one of those oxymoron situations but it is what it is so now we have this guy put this away this way this way you you go in there go in there you can go in there you can go in there all of you can go in there and uh yeah so anyway Let's continue on before I get too distracted and start doing something completely different, which I will not let happen because I really want to do this. Reactor control rod. You. Oh, no, 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 no. Not yet. Not yet. Um, okay, let's go pattern thingy. And then we'll go here and do this. Make the pattern. All right. And then we need uh, the glass. Oh, that's cool. That's handy. Uh, okay, and then what do we need? We need, so I have the casing, I have the glass, I can make the controller and the other things, because you still only need a few of those. Maybe the power taps for this thing, I might have to pull off like 80 of these things just to be able to draw enough power out of this thing. But again, this is just because I can. This has absolutely no practical usage other than just because I can. Uh, there is no need to have something this big. There really isn't. What am I looking for? This thing. This is what I'm looking for. And then we'll make a pattern for you. Um, graphite bars. Iron, not a problem. Yellowium, yellowium, not a problem. Graphite bar, maybe. I'm probably going to have to get a bunch of these because I'm not going to have enough. I have 18,000. I had no idea. Wow. Okay. Maybe not. Maybe not. All right. So let's go ahead and put our patterns in here. You see how much room we have? I mean, the hypercube is is good, man, but it, it's got a lot of free space. It is yearning for some work. So in the next mo you know, uh, modded series, we're definitely going to be hooking it up and filling up the entire thing if we can. We're just that's one of our goals is just to fill it up because that'd be awesome. That'd be really cool. Uh, <laughs> just be able to craft anything instantly. It'll be great. It'll be so so great. 
Anyway, so let's go here and be like, okay, so I need uh, 1,200 of you. 1,268. Yes, I got very specific with it. Um, I have enough. Make them. Next, we need you and the control rods. We need 392. Yes. All right. Perfect. Available 1568. Ooh, you know what? Maybe we should have done this after. I'm going to have to do some math to see about the other things. Anyway, we'll just do this, and then I'll go back and figure out how many reactor casings I need. Since these recipes require more reactor casing, I should have done these reactor casings last. Since there's already a pattern, these guys will make what they need, and then I could have made the 1268, and we wouldn't have had a problem. But now... These other ones are going to be taking from that stash that we just started making. And uh, I'm not going to have a complete uh, 1268 of them. Anyway, so let's go on to... Uh, where's my... Is it you? No, it's you? Yes. These guys we need a lot of. I don't think we're going to have enough supplies for all of these. We need 18,032 apparently. My math is like way off. I'm only missing 274. Awesome. Uh, glass. I need 35,000 glass. Oh, I didn't see that in there, but it makes sense. Uh, okay, so I'm going to take a cut. I'm going to get all of that glass <laughs> done. Do we have enough sand? I have to start the sand thing too. Oh, I have lots and lots of sand. Okay, that's good. Okay, so let's go ahead and just start. We're going to do uh, furnace only. And we're going to go into, give me my bag, man. And we need the, oh, this is so cluttered. So cluttered. Glad I have all my tools on me, but it's so hard to find anything. Uh, and then we'll go to you. Oh, I need a piece of sand first. Sand. Be a thing. Go in there. All right, so that's going to be processing, and I'm probably going to end up, uh, I don't know, making some more and doing a whole bunch of other things because this is going, that's going to take a long, long time if I have to wait for that to make 35,000 glass. But uh, I don't know. I'm going to keep going on this, and I'm going to get all the supplies I need. I'm going to finish making these. But the basic idea is that I need 1,268 frame blocks, the reactor casing. I need 4,500 glass. Oh, Never mind. Let's try that. Hold on. Let me, let me see. Oh, I, I read the wrong line on the thing when I was doing my stuff. I need 18,000 of these if I want to fill the entire inside of it. I'm missing a lot of things, including 50,000 iron and 19,000 graphite bars. <laughs> Um, maybe we won't go that, that gung ho with it just yet. Maybe we'll only make a few. Let's, um, hmm. I really want to do like the big thing though. I can make 3000 of them. Let's do that. We'll start with that many and see how far that gets us. And we'll kind of judge it and fix it up a little bit. Get as many as we can. We'll start, uh, I'll set up another quarry so I can get some more iron. I will graphite bars. I need, how do we make graphite bars? Graphite bar. Okay, that's simple enough. We basically smelt coal or charcoal. That's not too big of a deal either. Uh, let's see. All right, let's now see about the glass because I need... No, uh, here. I need 4,500 of you. I still need 8,000 glass. So it's good that I started doing that. That's not a big deal. I can let this practice... Uh, what? I can let that smelt up. Give me some glass. I'm going to set up a quarry for the iron, and then I'm going to start on the graphite. And that way, while we're setting up everything else, we can be getting all the supplies for more fuel rods. Just to see if we can max this thing out by the end of the episode. I hope we can. i got a bunch of time left today, so I can kind of AFK for a while if I need to, just to get enough stuff. But uh, we're going to see if I can actually make that work today. Uh, I really want to see what this thing is like fully powered. Oh man, it's gonna be crazy.
drop. Alright, so this is actually shot before I completely finished the reactor, but I did put the entire time lapse together because I figured it would look better that way. I just had to show you this, right? This is the import chest. This is the chest that is coming into uh, my network. It's Everything I collect is going into the white, white, white chest, right? Look at this thing. It's going crazy. Look at all that stuff. I have so many things going right now. I have two ender quarries. I've got all of my farms. I got everything that I'm collecting going into this chest. It actually requires three fully uh, set up import buses connected to this one chest in order. Oh, this one's not full. I can make it full. It's full now. <laughs> oh my goodness. So two and a half import buses just to pull out everything that I'm putting into it. But yes, you heard me right. I have two ender quarries going right now, one in the nether and one in the overworld. Why? Let's go check that out for a second because I, I came to a realization. Let me out of my thing, man. Jeez. I came to a realization. Uh, oh, up. Uh, what? Go up, man. Up. This one block wide thing. In the future, I'm going to have a bigger elevator. Anyway, uh, so here, here's my problem, right? Yellorium. I'm actually using it to make all of these things. And let me just show you. I only have, uh, I think, like 3,000, uh, maybe 6,000. Yeah, I have 6,000 of the Eulorium fuel rods. I need like 18,000. So I need to go ahead and make another 12,000 here. I need another 9,000 Eulorium. I don't have enough. And I still have to fill it up. Plus 51,000 iron. In 12,000 graphite. I don't think we're going to be able to finish it, but I'm trying to duke it out. We're going to see what I can do. The problem is actually my system down. Nope, not this way. Uh, not that way. This way. Even though I have all of these guys fully powered with the most powerful cables and everything, all the transfer, everything's going in here. It is literally stocked full. Every single thing I have. Nope, no, wrong one. Nope, wrong one. Stocked full of st well this one's not stocked full what's going on with you man oh this is like the extras thing this is like if it doesn't have it anywhere else to go just pulverize it but uh it's 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 like crazy i don't know why these aren't full that's a little i guess they're pumping it out pretty quick i mean these things do you know they go pretty quick we're getting more iron that's good but it's it's like it's crazy, and the sag mill does have more of everything. I, put, I sent a lot of things to the sag mill. It has a lot extra, uh, you know, better bonuses and everything for, for stuff. Anyway, the basic idea is that I am going crazy. I have literally, like, by the time this is done, I currently have 20,000 iron. You know, I have, I had, like, 18,000 eulorium. I am going to be out of supplies, I am going to be completely out of everything that is even remotely considered valuable <laughs> just trying to get this daggone reactor up and running. And it's not even going to be fully powered, I don't think. I don't think I can make it. I don't want to show you that yet. It's not done yet. Uh, not in this clip, anyway. You're going backwards in time, man. You're in the past. But, um, oh my goodness gracious. It's, it's, oh, it's crazy. It's crazy. There's so much stuff that needs to be done. I don't know if I can finish it. I have no idea how far I got. Uh, in this thing. Oh, a uh, quick note. Um, Sarge, your soul shards. When, and Sarge, by the way, for the rest of the viewers, is the person who made the uh, blood magic, the old ways that I'm using in this mod pack. It's awesome. Go check it out. It's amazing. I have a, a, a spotlight out on it. It's cool. Uh, you can go. There's there's links everywhere for it. Just search up for it. You'll find it. Anyway, um, yeah, uh, the fuel here. Basically, when you put in a, like, I don't know, like a stack and you step away, the animation, the burning animation actually turns off after whichever one is currently burning disappears, regardless if it starts burning a new one or not. 
if that makes any sense at all. I mean, it's, I would show you, but it takes so long. Like, it's just crazy. But, yeah, basically the animation won't be on if uh, if you're not actually looking at it. As soon as you look at it, it the, the texture updates. But, yeah. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, lots of things are going on right now. Oh, man, it's so crazy. So crazy. And I went into the mining dimension. Let's see if it starts lagging me like crazy again. I'm starting to uh, get really, really laggy in this in this map okay it's not oh the lag oh my goodness oh it caught up a little bit oh are you gonna can you do it it's so crazy laggy all right so yeah i have two ender quarries and now i believe both of them are being powered off of my other reactor and i can actually see the power coming out uh, out of it the small one i mean uh it's it's nuts it's crazy it's awesome but Wow, and it still isn't even budging. Like, that is more than you're ever going to need. This thing is capable of powering... Like, I think I even switched over my base to start using the reactor, too. So it's powering my base and two fully souped-up ender quarries. And it's still full. Like, no problems. And it's only on, like, 50%. So that... the, 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 the I have, a, like, a what? What did I make that? 13 by 13 by 13? I don't know. It's crazy. But that's all you need. You do not need the big one that I'm making. You don't, you don't need it at all. It's not a thing that you need. So, oh my God, that was great. That was crazy. I loved it. I don't know about you, but I loved it. So, yeah. In case you couldn't tell, there, uh, there's new music. I've been using uh, new music here for a little bit. Uh, just a couple, couple of the time lapses and stuff. And the other music isn't going anywhere. And just because I don't think you noticed, it doesn't really matter. But I figured I would mention that uh, the music I got the last few from are uh, Argo Fox. They have a YouTube channel. It's really cool. Some great stuff. And obviously, you know, I always uh, support the people that I use content from. Uh, so, you know, link will be down in the description. No big deal. But, uh, yeah, really good stuff. So go check them out because they're awesome. Anyway, uh, my buddy actually stopped by. Um, and he was like, Oh, look, it's a diamond. And that kind of looks like a spade. He's like, all you need are the hearts and clovers. He's like, that one kind of looks like a heart. Now it really looks a bit more like a heart. And then this one I was going to change into a club, but it's a little bigger. It wouldn't have looked right. And I didn't want to change the entire thing just for the sake of a little bit of a thing. So, uh, yeah. So, no, I don't have clubs because uh, I don't like clubs anyway. So, yeah, it's a thing. It's a really, really big thing. It's a huge thing. It's massive. Uh, as I've already said a few times, there is no reason for having something this big. It is utterly pointless, but it's still really, really cool. Anyway, so there's one last thing. You notice no, no connected textures, and I hope this doesn't mess up. Hopefully, I didn't miscount something or something and have to change everything because that would really kind of stink. Uh, we're going to put it... I'm going to put it over here because this is where it was going to go. Originally, I think I mentioned this already, but originally it was going to be this size, but I had to I had to shave it down. Ooh, I'm stuck on something. Okay, I had to uh, make it smaller because I, I reached over the max size of these things. So this is the biggest you can possibly have it. Uh, so the inside is 30 by 30 by 46. So the including the frame is 32 by 32 by 48. Just something, I don't know if I mentioned, I think I might have, I'm not sure. It's been a while, because I have been AFK for a very, very long time. This game has been open for hours, so if you see it glitching around a little bit, it hasn't had a chance to unload any of its data. It's been sitting here, processing a whole bunch of stuff for a while. Oh my goodness, crazy. Anyway, we're going to go right there, so we don't have to worry about uh, <laughs> things getting in the way. We have one access, uh, access port there. Then we're going to have thing here and then thing here. This is the other one. Then we have the reactor controller. Oh, it's a thing. It's totally a thing. It did the thing. Sweet. All right. And then we have the four ports, which I'm not actually going to uh, to use to hook this thing up. But just for completeness, I figured I'd go ahead and make them. I mean, I made the rest of everything else. So why not? You know, perfect. Something like this, similar to the uh the thing that we have down in the mob area. So now if I ever do want to hook it up, I can. I can just come over here and be like, bam, I now have infinite energy for everything forever. 
Anyway, uh, so now we need to, you're going to be outlet, so you're in. And I have my special chest thing here that's going right there. And I have the out going right there. And then I have my item translocate. Ooh, fly, and then shift, and then space, and shift. There we go. So you're going to go here. Empty hand. Bam. Okay. And then you are in. So one here. Fly. Whoa. Okay. Down. There. And then empty hand. And in. And there it goes. It's filling up. Oh my goodness. Look at this thing. You see how much? Look. Look at this. Oh my goodness. You see how fast it's eating these things? It's crazy. All right. Look. It's it's 0.8% full. Look. Hold on. We, we got to look at this. Fuel rods, 182. Maximum capacity. Max capacity is 33,488,488 buckets. 33,488,000 millibuckets. Holy crap. So right now it's filling up. It's at 700 and some thousand. Wow. Just wow. Like... If this thing can actually fill up completely with uh, the the Yalorium that I have, I will be so, so surprised. And you want to know the kicker? All of that is only half full. That's just half full. I don't have all of the uh, the rods in. I mean, as you saw here, this is uh, this is only about half of it. Roughly speaking, about half. I need about another... Uh, 9,000 fuel, fuel rods. And then I need another, you know, I, I have pretty sure I have all the control rods that I need, but I need another 9,000, at least 9,000 fuel rods for this thing. This is absolutely nuts. So this is going to take some time to fill up. I'm going to go ahead and let it fill up, uh, as much as it will go. We're going to see, I'm going to see how much it's actually draining my network or my network. Yeah. Well, yeah. My network basically. I'm going to see how much is draining that thing, and uh, I'll get back to you when it's full. We'll see uh, We'll see what the damage All is. All right. Well, I came in here before, and there was actually 4,000 Yellerite ore in this thing, right? So then, oh, go down. Go. Oh, no, do the right thing. Okay. Go down. Go down. I came down into um, here. No, not here. Oh, man, I'm getting lost in my own place again. So then I came in here and I actually, I, I worked out a way to get these guys right up to the front of the line. And that worked. I also took them out and replaced what was ever, whatever was in here. Basically, I just moved up all of the yellow right ore and put it right at the beginning. So that's why you saw when I went in here and looked at it that now all of the ore is gone. And we're pumping out all of these things, which are now, oh, nope, 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 nope. I keep, oh. It's so laggy right now. It's so unbelievably laggy. I oh, I hope my game doesn't crash too soon because I really want to show you some more things. Oh man. And basically you see right here, it it's they're all being ready. They're all ready to be processed, but that's not 4000 of them. And there's not that much uh dust in the system anymore. So it's all kind of you know, it it's uh, it's getting there. It's uh yeah. So after all of this, let me show you how full it got. <laughs> now, keep in mind, there's maybe 2,000. We'll say we just replenished our 2,000 that we started with. So I'm saying at least 4,000 ingots went into this thing. Rough, rough estimate, that's what I'm guessing came in. 26.3%. This thing is nuts. Oh, my goodness. Why did I do this? Why does that look empty? What is, oh, nope, you're not empty. All right, all right, so the moment of truth. The moment of truth. Holy crap. This thing is skyrocketing. Look at that. Beautiful temperature, too, for what it is, the size. I mean, the size, this is, I thought this would actually go way, way, way over 18, 19 uh, degrees, eight, 100 degrees oh can't talk look we almost hit a thousand thousand flux <laughs> oh my goodness i think that's bad actually i think that's very very bad for it to be that that hot i don't know 
Um, maybe not. It's still burning. Not. It's burning. Ju not. Oh my goodness! Ten millibuckets per tick. Ten. Holy crap! That's that's a that's a big number. If you don't know, that's a pretty big number. Holy crap! And this is half done. So okay, let's just double this right here. This is going to go up to about 20 millibuckets per tick, and this is going to go up to, you know, 1,600,000 RF a tick. Oh my goodness. What is that? 870,000 flux per tick. So it would be like over 1.5 million flux per tick at the max size with this setup right here. Tell me that's not just insane. Let me fly. Oh my God, it's so laggy. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh yeah, it's full. It would probably filled up almost instantly in reality. Let's turn this off because we don't need to do that. Holy OMG, man. We could eject the fuel, place the ingots in the reactor's access ports. Yeah, so basically I can get the ingots back. Worst case scenario to put back into the system. But the other reactor down there is still going. It still has fuel, which is pretty much why I stopped it. It was, uh, was going to be causing issues. We're going to see how much yellowite I have. Oh, yeah, I have over 1,000 now. And you see this is going down. So there's about this plus a chest worth. Uh, maybe, okay, so maybe that's about uh, 3,000 to 3,500 ingots. Maybe not quite 4,000. Roughly speaking, uh, obviously, you know. And, and it's only halfway. That's half. So that's half the size of an actual full-sized reactor. R what? React? Yeah. I think I said that right. Anyway. So that has half the rods in it. And it's only a quarter full. Goodness gracious. That thing is crazy. Absolutely crazy. But we did it. And it is this this map is really, really laggy, but it's not crashed yet. I have a feeling if I went to another zone, it would crash my game. Um, because these other zones have been really, really laggy. Holy woo! Are you gonna, oh, oh wow, you're actually responding, oh, maybe not, I thought you were responding better, oh goodness gracious, oh, oh, not quite, we're getting close guys, we've got to be getting close to crashing the map, uh, what if I turned on all, ah, oh, I don't want to crash it yet, I don't want to crash it yet, I, I want another, uh, another couple episodes, I, I keep hanging on to the series guys, I keep hanging on to it, I don't want it to end, I don't, I don't want it to end, but it, it's gonna have to, um, but, but not yet, just not, not yet. Give me another couple episodes. I want some more. Anyway, so, uh, uh oh man, this is going to take forever. Aren't you, you going to, uh, uh, are you going to do it? You're going to do, oh, uh oh, oh my goodness. This is crazy. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right. Well, we didn't crash. We're still good. You see how slowly the chunks are loading in? Oh my goodness, there's so much going on in this world. It is crazy, absolutely nuts. I, it very well could crash the game. I might have to trick it. That might be the way I can crash the game. So if I turn everything on, and then go down into the mob drop area, and then when I come back, you remember that freeze frame in the last episode that I showed you? That paired with everything else and the loading and how slow it's going, it still isn't loading in all the chunks. This is crazy. You can't even see the reactor. It's nuts. That I think that would do it. I really do. I think that would do it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. All right. Well, we're going to find out, but not right now. <laughs> all right, guys. If you liked the episode, don't forget to hit that like button. You want to see more, you want my videos sent directly to you, then don't forget to subscribe. Comment, favorite, share if you feel like you want to. Thanks so much for watching, and <laughs> and I'll see you next time. Bye.